I realized that I never made a video of my Arco wand after I got it put back together. I acquired this machine almost a year ago and I needed to do a few things to it. First and foremost was to get the motor to run. Uh, there's a video I made of this motor running uh, dismounted from the machine and sparking away, not able to get up to full speed. And I took it all apart, undercut the mica on the commutator, freed up the uh, the centrifugal weights that that short out the uh, brushes when it's up to speed. I ordered new brushes. There's a company in California that makes brushes for all sorts of weird motors. I've used them several times and um, this particular motor is a Wagoner, one horsepower. The last patent date on the motor is 1913. I don't know how well that shows up on the video. And the machine itself is an Arco One Model 361. The last patent date is 1914. So I believe this machine is from about 1915. Uh, all the Arco Ones use the same uh, principle of operation, which is a positive displacement double lobe pump instead of uh, an impeller or impellers like most other vacuum cleaners use. Uh, the reason these are called positive displacement blowers is that each revolution this pump makes scoops out a definite volume of air. What it's trying to do is keep the airflow constant and it varies the vacuum as it's trying to do that. And so because this will continue to scoop out air until it literally stalls the motor out, it is fitted with a pressure relief valve here that, that lets the air in when the intake is completely blocked off. This vacuum gauge I, I bought separately. Uh, you can see it is an Arco vacuum gauge and the scale is in inches of mercury which was a more common way to rate the performance of vacuum systems uh, than inches of water column. But all you do to convert one to the other is you multiply inches of mercury by 13.59. So 10 inches of mercury here is 135.9 inches of water column. When I got this machine it was missing the dirt container and I inquired about having one made or buying one because the Arco One Vacuum Company, uh, even though it's no longer owned by American Radiator, is still in business and in fact their headquarters are only about 30 minutes from here in Chicago. Uh, but the dirt containers from their contemporary machines would not fit this. I found out that a pot from the kitchen that I just happened to have lying around would fit. So that and a bungee cord allow us to use this vacuum. Uh, to clean the fabric filter inside uh, you have to undo these bolts, take the top off and vacuum the filter off and, and I put it back in. That didn't seem to make a difference because the filter is big enough, it's, it's the, the whole height of the uh, cylinder in here, um, that with so much surface area you're not getting very much performance loss even with a <laughs> hundred year accumulation of dirt. So anyway, we'll fire it up. So as I was saying, when you block off the intake, the motor runs more slowly and is using more electricity. It's working harder to, to maintain that airflow despite the resistance. Five inches of mercury, the relief valve is opening. And if we hold this relief valve shut, the motor will stall. And that's really not terribly good for it. But the thing about these uh, blowers is that this size is too small to really exhaust an effective amount of air. So even though it's creating an impressive amount of sealed vacuum, the working vacuum, which is what actually cleans the carpet, is not that great. We use the VacuFlow modern working vacuum gauge here. And now 
LEP water lift. Of course, sealed, the relief valve is opening at about 70 inches. Working vacuum, though, at a 5 inch inch orifice is only about 30 inches. And that's not even at the end of a vacuum hole. So these machines were designed around a much smaller effective orifice size and because of that most of them were installed with one and a half inch pipe instead of two inch and they used a one inch hose instead of a one and a half inch hose and the nozzles were small and had a very narrow opening so that you could get enough velocity to clean and when you did all that they worked well enough uh, and you could get your house clean but the problem with a machine like this is, even though it was state of the art for its time, uh, you know, come the 1930s when you could buy an Electrolux that was nice and light to carry around and simple uh, and, and would move a whole lot more air, most of these just uh, fell into disuse. But I'm lucky enough to have this one. It is a size larger than the most of the residential Arco ones that you see, which are half horsepower. This one is a full uh, horsepower motor and it does move more air and develop higher pressure because of that.